Hey guys, it's Dan Strong with Excel VBA's fun part three of our quick series on uh, closing and using user form keyboard shortcuts. So we've talked about how to use the escape key to automatically close the user form from any control that you have selected. It doesn't matter. And then we talked about how to use accelerator keys. Those are alt and then key combinations. And uh, we've used those with the option buttons or to run an actual command button as if you were clicking it. Now we're going to take it one step further. We're going to make another command button. By the way, if you don't have your uh, uh, Visual Basic Editor open, you can use Alt F11 on a Windows computer or you can use Option F11 or Function Key Option F11 on a Mac computer. But again, with a Mac, unfortunately, you can't really use uh, user forms. You can't build them or design them. You can run them that have been done on a Windows computer anyway. So we're in Alt F11 on Windows computer in our user form number two here. And what we're going to do is we're going to create another button. Now I could just go down to here and click on the button and click here, but that's boring. Let me show you another cool trick, a tip within a tip video. This is great. So if you select one or more icons uh, or ActiveX controls rather, so using control click, and what I've done here is I've just single clicked it, but I'm going to hold control with my uh, left pinky and with my mouse I'm going to click and drag now that's an automatic copy and release now you can keep clicking and dragging while you're holding the control key and that will duplicate this control and of course it'll auto name it something else because it cannot have a duplicate name uh, in there but it uh, it automatically will, will take every dimension and duplicate that now I don't really care for the accelerator key being on here as you, I need to change that. It needs to be unique. And really, this can be anything I want. So I'm going to put the letter M for the accelerator key. And I'm going to actually delete any and all captions. Wait a second, Dan. You can do an accelerator key even though it's not part of the caption or there is no caption? That's correct. You can. Wait a second. I'm, in fact, I'm going to make this so small that either I make it like one pixel uh, wide and high. Uh, or I could hide it outside of the boundaries like this. Uh, I could just kind of cave in the, the user form so it's outside of the visible boundaries. Or another really easy way to do that is I can actually hide this little control behind a uh, quick little uh, label. So I'll make a label here and I'll actually delete the caption from the label. And then I can actually just use that to hide the button. Now the button still has the accelerator key of uh, Alt M. So let's do something with like this message box, and we'll call this one hidden uh, option has been found. It's almost like an Easter egg. Maybe you want to hide. Uh, uh, obviously, you don't want to hide something super top secret or whatever, because you know if somebody else has control of your application, they may be able to find those. But if you just want something a little bit out of the way, but some administrative control or something that's helpful to you and a few people who know how to use alt key combinations you can hide them with a simple label and when you open up the form the label doesn't show up as clearly as when you're in the design mode now if I hit alt M it says the hidden option has been found Ooh, I found the Easter egg cool I pressed alt M but there's no visible button that actually triggered that because it's hidden right now one thing I forgot to add earlier is that I want to show you that if you uh, do this hidden um, command button, it actually is tabbing to it right now. So you notice I'm hitting the tab key, and it's actually just tabbed to it. So if I hit enter, it actually acknowledged that as if it is selected, even though I can't physically select it. I can tab to it. So one thing I would recommend that you do, let's go to our little tiny button here, and we're going to turn the tab stop to off. By default everything is tab stop is true. I'm going to double click on that and make it false. So tab stop false means that the tab is not actually going to tab over to that control. And I'll show you visually what that means. So if I hit tab, 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 tab. Now right now normally it would tab to this little button, but now it's going the tab stop is turned off. So it's actually not even going to stop by and say hello to that button. It's going to uh, override that. So that way uh, now, whenever I put this little shield back over it, now there's no way that somebody could even know that it exists, uh, and they will not inadvertently accidentally hit enter or, uh, or you know, tab to it and say, where'd the tab go? Okay, that's, uh, that's pretty much it for that quick tip. 
So that's kind of a really cool little quick trick. I hope you can find some uses for that. If you do have any uses for that, would you please share those in the comments? Maybe you have some more ideas that you'd like to add to the Excel community. Share how you might use that or how you have used something like that in the comments below. And don't forget to click like, subscribe, and subscribe to the notifications button. And as always, thanks so much for watching our channel and supporting us. Uh, God bless.